I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and this is my review and installation of the Rugged Ridge Cold Air Intake fitting all 2007 and up JKs. There are two different versions of this cold air intake, one for those of you with the 2007 to 2011 JK and one for those of you with the 2012 and up and that is because Jeep did change the engine between those years so make sure you get the right one for your Wrangler. Today we're going to talk through the installation of this cold air intake, which is going to be a very simple one out of three wrench install. This is designed to bolt directly in place on your JK and you can get this installed in right around an hour, but we'll talk more about the installation in just a second. We're also going to talk through the construction and a few of the features of this cold air intake. A cold air intake on your JK is going to provide you with a little bit more throttle response, a little bit better efficiency as far as miles per gallon, and you are going to get a little bit more noise from underneath the hood, but I wouldn't expect to see huge gains in power or torque. If you do see any, they're probably going to be at the very top of the power band where we don't spend a lot of our time. A cold air intake probably isn't the best idea for those of you who are doing a lot of off-roading where it's wet, whether that be muddy or doing water crossings because this will make it a lot easier to suck water into the engine, which of course can cause a lot of damage through hydrolocking. You're probably better off sticking with your factory air box if you do a lot of wheeling near water. However, if you are somebody who stays on the road or if you do wheeling in drier environments or stay on the rocks, a cold air intake will give you a couple of those benefits that we mentioned. And this is going to be an option that is going to be less expensive than a lot of the other cold air intakes out there. There are some sealed box cold air intakes, which will help to draw in even cooler, fresher air. Um, there are a couple different options out there that have some additional bells and whistles as far as telling you when your filter is clogged up, those types of things. And of course, you are going to pay more for those features. This is going to be more of a bare bones, simple cold air intake that still has a reusable filter that will give you the benefits you're after. So this is a 6063 mandrel bent aluminum intake tube, and this does come with a high flow conical filter that is going to be reusable. But other than that, not much to the system. As I said, it is fairly bare bones and fairly simple. Of course, it does have this heat shroud that's designed to draw the coldest air possible from the front corner of the engine bay. But if we're being honest with ourselves, you're still drawing air from underneath the engine, which is going to be hot. If you want a true cold air intake, the only real way to do that is by installing a snorkel so that you're actually drawing cool, fresh air from outside of the engine bay. This is going to be a very easy to install cold air intake. And as long as you're okay having the polished pipe under the hood, I know some of you would rather stick with something more stealthy and black, but if you like the polished look, this is going to be an inexpensive cold air intake option. As I mentioned before, this is going to be a very simple one out of three wrench install that you're gonna be able to get done in about an hour with just some traditional hand tools. The first step is going to be removing that factory air box and your factory air intake tube from the Jeep. There are a couple of clips and a couple of screws that you'll have to remove as well as some clamps to get that off of your Wrangler. Once that is removed, be very careful to unsnap the ambient air temperature sensor from the wiring harness and then very carefully remove it from the intake tube because you are going to be reinstalling that into your new intake. After that, you will attach your heat shield in place of your air box and that'll attach on that inner fender well, a couple of screws from the underside, a couple of screws from the top side. And then it's just a matter of using the included hardware to attach your new intake tube and your new filter into your Jeep, finally snapping your wiring harness back together for that temperature sensor. The whole process isn't gonna take you much more than an hour. This is something anybody can do in their driveway. Like I said, this is a fairly bare bones and simple version of a cold air intake. It doesn't have a lot of those other bells and whistles that some of the other brands have, but it's still going to give you those few additional miles per gallon, that little bit of additional throttle response, and a little bit more noise from underneath the hood. So if that's all you're after, this is a good way to do that on a budget. If you want some of those bells and whistles, we have those options as well. However, they are going to be more expensive. As I said before, this is a very simple and bare bones cold air intake setup and it comes in at less expensive than a lot of the others on the market, a little bit less than $200. If all you're looking is for a few additional MPG, some more throttle response and some more sound from underneath the hood and you're on a budget, this is going to be an excellent option. If you want some of those additional bells and whistles and some of those fancier features and you're willing to pay for them, we have those options available as well. 
So if your JK stays on the road or you only wheel in dry environments and you're not worried about hydrolocking, a cold air intake is a way to get a little bit more efficiency, a little bit more noise, and some more throttle response out of your engine. And this one from Rugged Ridge is a way to accomplish those things all on a budget. So that's my review of the Rugged Ridge cold air intake fitting all 2007 and up JKs that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.